Hi again, uh, here we are to talk about Xcode, and I'm going to continue with this example of the login and register modal views. And in the last uh, couple videos, we created an example here that, uh, you know, it has some views here that act like an app, and then our app presents a login screen, and clicking the register button will take us to the, uh, the register screen. Here we'll take a quick look at what we have so far, right? So here's our app, and then it loads up, and the login screen pops up. And if you, you know, if you don't have an account, you might tap on register to create a new account. So you tap on this, and the modal view goes away, and then it swaps itself for a different modal view, right? So essentially, you know, we dismiss the login screen, and then when that's finished dismissing, we present a new register screen, right? So the problem now that I left you with in the last video was how to get from the register screen back to the login screen, right? These buttons don't do anything. So let's do that. And essentially, we're just going to do the exactly the same things that we did to get from login to register, right? So uh, so here we'll, we'll, we'll do it in the register view or register um, view controller Swift, right? So this register view controller is the view controller class the custom class for um, the register view controller here in Storyboard, so this guy. And we can check that in the sidebar here looking at the custom class um, at the top here, right? And you can even click the little arrow there to go to the class file. So anyway, so here we are. And, uh, you know, I've got a couple, um, a couple uh, text fields here to get the input that you're gonna you might type into the you know username and password fields and then I have a you know some IB actions for the two buttons right the register button and the uh, the login button so for the register button you know I again we're just mocking up the um, the actual login functionality right we're here we're just kind of managing the views and showing how that would work so so what we're gonna do for the register button is we're just gonna do the same thing we did with login so what we'll do is we'll say um, and we could do a little a little check here too. We'll say, hey, if you know, password um, text dot text equals password confirm text dot text. Hey, there's a little bit of validation, right? So if these two match, then we can say, hey, you know, if uh, login manager dot shared instance dot login with username, right? So we'll just call login with username here. We should actually probably have a, a create new user account or something like that, right? This is going to be a little more complicated with a real login, but, uh, um, and I recommend using parse for that. It's really good. Um, but anyway, here's our, here's our login with username, and then we'll put the username here. So we'll say username text dot text and password uh, text dot text right and then I need the um, the the curly brace here at the end there right so and then it's gonna give me a problem here because those guys are optional so I'm just gonna let Xcode put the exclamation point in there okay so now we've called uh, you know uh, login with username and then that's gonna check that these are not empty right and if they're not empty, then um, it's going to return a true and say, like, hey, now you're logged in. And so in that case, you know what we can do is we can just dismiss this view. So we'll say dismiss view controller animated. And there's no need for a completion block here. We're all done. Okay. Um, you know, we could put some validation in here, too. Like, hey, you know, your user, your passwords don't match, you know, here. you know, or, or whatever else we're going to do maybe here if we log in. Um, if that's not valid login, we could, you know, put something there, right? So, you know, I'll leave that for, for you guys to, to continue with um, on your own. <coughs> but this sets up, you know, essentially like if when you register, right? So this kind of registers us, right? Well, what happens if you're on the register screen and you want to go back to the login screen? Okay, so that's going to happen here on when you tap the login button. So what we'll do is we'll do the same thing we did before. 
we need a reference to the presenting view. So we'll say let presenting view controller equal storyboard dot presenting. Uh, no, no, wait, actually it's, uh, it's just presenting view controller, right? So we're going to get a reference to the presenting view controller. And then we're going to say um, we need a, now we need it to create an instance of the login view. So we'll say login equals storyboard dot instantiate view controller with identifier. And our login view controller is called login view controller, right? And that's what I used for the identifier name. Let's go take a look at that again just to make sure we get it, right? So this is the login view and its um, storyboard ID is the same as the class name. And this is really what we want is we want the storyboard ID. I make them the same name because it's kind of easier to remember, right? But uh, but that's what we want right there. We want this name. And so we'll, uh, let me go back to register view here. And so that's the view controller instance that we want to create. So that we want to create an instance or instantiate an instance of that view controller with its storyboard identifier. Okay, so we'll put the identifier here. And then um, now we'll, um, we'll dismiss the current view controller, which is register view controller, and then we'll present the login view controller. So we're going to do it this way. We're going to say dismiss view controller animated. We'll say true to the animated property, like, yeah, I want to animate this process. And then completion, we're going to highlight this little, you know, placeholder here hit the return key so Xcode just writes the block for us, right? And then this block is a block of code that's going to run after this animation is completed, right? And so when the animation is completed, we want to present the login view. And the animation here is putting away the registration view. So what we'll do is we'll say um, uh, presenting view controller because that's who's going to present the new login view. So we'll say presenting view controller dot present view controller animated. Okay. So we'll say uh, view controller present view controller view controller to present is login. Oops, not login manager, but uh, login, right? And then do we want to animate that? Yeah, you know, of course we do, right? It always looks better if you animate it. And then if we have a completion block, if there's something that you want to do when this is done, we can do it here. In this case, we really don't have anything to do. and We're not going to put bill there. We're going to put nil, okay? And, uh, and then I think we're good, except for the optional here. This thing's an optional, so let's, uh, we'll just put the exclamation point in there. Okay, so let's give it a try. So if we got that working, then... Um, we should be able to switch between the two views, right? So here is the login view, and you know what? I don't have an account, so I'll click register, and it puts that away, and then it presents the register view. And actually, I just remembered I do have a login account, so I'll, I'll click login, and it should put the register view away and present the login view. Okay, so there we go. So that's that's pretty good, right? Um, we can log in here. I, I got to actually type a name in there, right? Let's actually check our registration view. Let me go back to registration and let's register a new account and we'll type in the passwords here and then I'll click register and it dismisses the view and now we're back at our app, right? So I think everything's working pretty good there and that, that should be pretty easy for people to follow. Um, let me point something out here. Um, I have an error here. It's not really an error, it's sort of kind of a warning, right? But it says presenting view controllers on detached view controllers is discouraged. And then it says unbalanced calls to begin end appearance transitions for UI navigation controller, blah, 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 right? So this is kind of a problem in the way that I've set this up. And, you know, I kind of left this out 
um, just to keep things simple. Um, but let's let's kind of cover what's going on. Um, I'm going to go back to View Controller here, View Controller Swift, and one of the things that's happening in here is that on View Did Load we're calling on the login manager to check your login status and then we're going to present a modal view right so if you're not logged in we present the modal view here but this is on view did load that doesn't mean that this view has appeared yet on the screen right so view controller is our main view over here the pink one right that's our starting place and it loads, but before we actually see it on the screen, it gets the view did load message, right? And so, you know, we're kind of jumping the gun here by presenting this view controller, and it kind of works, right? Like it's working just fine, you know, but but there it's but Xcode or Cocoa Touch is giving us a warning saying that it's kind of discouraged to do that, okay? So we should not really be presenting a view before that view is ready. So what we should do here, and I left this out just to keep things clear um, when we, you know, just to get the concepts clear, but uh, what we should really do here is something more like this. I'm going to add a function up here. Um, let's call it check login right so you know anytime we 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 view when, anytime this view loads or we come to this view or we want to do something where we want to check your login status we'll just call on this check login right and check login its its um, job will be to you know check your login status with the login manager and then present the modal view if necessary right the login view okay so this doesn't actually solve our problem yet, okay? So really what, you know, if we put check login down here, then we've got the same arrangement we had before, and everything should work just like it did a moment ago. You know, in this case, our code is a little better organized, right? Because we have this particular task that we want to do, and it's organized into a, a function, right? So now we can reuse this function or, you know, look up the code for this function, and it's all in one block here with a name um, but we still have the problem where we're actually presenting the view before the view controller is is loaded and displayed on the screen so we're gonna take check login out of here and what we want to do is when view did load we want to say um, uh, perform selector Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a short delay, and you could actually solve this maybe in a few ways. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm just going to add a, a short delay, right? It's just to wait for this view to appear on the screen, and then present the modal view. Okay, so I'm going to say perform selector. So a selector in um, Swift and Xcode is the name of a function. Okay, and so perform selector says. Um, and actually, let me go back and do that again. I'm going to type in perform selector. And the, there's actually a whole bunch of these. And the one that I want is perform selector with object after delay. Okay, so essentially this is going to, this method right here is going to, you know, perform a function or call on a function for us. Um, we can say any object, so we can say which object to call the function on. You know, so essentially, on our, our this view controller will be the object that we're calling the function on, and then after delay is going to say like how long do we want to wait before calling this selector? Okay. So perform selector with object after delay. Okay, that's the one that we want. So perform selector. So the selector we want to perform the selector is always a string. So the string that we want to call on is check login. And then any object for us is going to be self because that will be a reference to our view controller. And then NS time interval is a time interval that you know says how long to wait before performing the selector. And we can just put in one second there. You could put in I think you could put in like 0.5 seconds or something like that. Um, maybe it doesn't like that. I'm going to just put in one second for now, right? I don't know for some. Oh, there we go. My code hints are coming back, right? Um, so anyway, so I'm going to do this, right? Um, and uh, so essentially, we'll load up the first screen, and then a second later, 
it'll call check login, and hopefully that will get rid of this problem down here, right? So well, let's give it a test, right? So I'll, I'll click run, and and there's our view, and then a second later, the the login screen shows up, and then there's no error, right? And we can click on register, and then it goes away, or and the registration screen comes up, and then we can go back to login, right? So now everything's working pretty good, and we're not getting any, you know, warnings or, you know, ominous messages from, from Xcode. So, so anyway, so I hope that's helpful to everybody, and uh, good luck with your projects. Um, let me do one more thing. Um, when I switch to the registration screen, you'll see my, my constraints here are positioning all these things at the bottom where they should have been up higher. And I used um, kind of the automatic setup here. And so what happened was um, this bottom thing here, this login button actually is distance to bottom, right? So like all of these you know, um, elements here are all positioned off of the login button, which is, you know, which is positioned or, you know, you know, has a constraint that says distance to bottom where these are all aligned distance to top, right? So to fix that, I, I'll have to um, delete that constraint and then add a constraint that'll be vertical spacing maybe, right? And so that should hopefully fix it, right? But anyway, so you, you might have to manage your your constraints there for yourself, but that's that's another subject. I'll leave that for you to solve on your own. Um, but anyway, I hope that's helpful, and uh, yeah, um, thanks for watching. Let's give it, we'll give it one more test and see if this registration screen worked out for us, right? Um, oh, there we go. So that looks a lot better. Okay, so thanks again. Um, see you later.